Fuck my buddy. Welcome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you've seen here, um, this is um, my swordfish that I made a couple months ago, I think. So, um, if you maybe um, seen some of my videos, there was a, a speed modeling or speed, yeah, rigging thing, I don't know, um, from this um, swordfish. So, um, yeah, there were a lot of people who asked to give this out for free. So, um, after a few months, I just decided to um, yeah actually give it away. So, um, I never used it. So, um, this have no use for me at all. So, um, I just gonna give it away for free. So, uh, maybe you guys will like it. So, um, let's just go through the features, I guess. So, um, first of all, I'm gonna start with the user data. So um, in here, if you click on the swordfish, you will see body customizations and um, then swordfish. So um, first of all, if you click on swordfish, um, you can change the texture for the fish. If you see in here, so yeah, and then there's also a texture too. So um, if you um, Turn this on, you'll see there will come something on here. So um, if you see in here, so in render, it just looks all fine like this. And if you're wondering what this kind of thing is, it's just transparency. So um, it will combine with the first texture. So um, yeah, so um, the next kind of thing in the um, swordfish is the eyes so um, you can change the color from the right eye and then also the color from the left eye so um, if you don't want a black eye color you can change it to blue or something whatever you want and then there's also the inner eye color so um, if you want darker darker colors or yeah if you want the high fish like this I don't know, so I just included it. So um, let's go on to the next part. So um, there's a mount, so um, you can enable or disable the top teeth in here. So um, there's also a teeth part. So um, if you see here, you can enable or disable the top teeth and then also the bottom teeth, you see. And then there's also a little color thing if for you want to change the color from the inner mount so um, if you want gold color or something I don't know it's up to you if you want another red color or something I don't know so um, there's also a color thing to change the teeth so um, if you want a fancy um, fish like this with red teeth so um, I don't know it's up to you so um, that was the part from the swordfish let's go on to the body customizations so um, in here you can change the color of the first texture of the fish so um, the most textures are blue so um, if you want another texture like a red or purple thing it's up to you and on then there's also um, a color too but um, you have to enable it here so um, if you see near the color 2 you can ch change this texture as well so um, if you want another color it's all up to you so um, let's just disable this texture for a moment so um, there's also a sword taper in here so um, if you see in the swordfish the sword in the front you can tape it you can make it a lot sharper seen here or you can kind of do a minecraft it looks just um, cubic but you can um, yeah you can make it sharper to whatever you want I guess so um, yeah there's also um, um, yeah an enable or disable port so um, if you don't want some of the ports from the swordfish if you don't want them you can disable it so um, now the top fin 
we can enable or disable it just the same with the lower fin in here and then also the swords if you don't want those ports so we can kind of customize your um, rig so um, yeah there's also a little deformer port so um, if you see here there is Sperify so um, if you see here there's kind of a little bulge on here so um, you will see it's much smoother kind of so um, if you turn it off you will see it's much flatter than if you turn it on so um, you kind of see this little bulge thing in here so um, let's just turn it off for a moment so um, you can see the next part the taper body so um, you can see you can tape the front of the body and then there's also the tail taper so um, you can make it a bit sharper so it's up to you so um, that was the user data for um, the swordfish so let's go on to the control panel I guess so um, if you see here at the top of the head you will see a little controller a little start thing so um, if you click on here you can enable or disable a control panel so um, the first thing in the control panel here the um, kind of red um, controller you'll see you can move the head to whatever point you want so um, you see and then there's also a slider at the sides and at the bottom to um, control the mounts so um, here at the bottom at the bottom you'll see um, you can control your mount to go right or left and then at the side you can turn it up or down if you see and then here is a circle controller um, it's just for both eyes so um, at the top of the circle controller it's to move each each eye individual so um, this is for the right eye and then in here it's for the left eye if you see so um, let's go on to the next sliders at the side in here so um, you can turn the bottom emotion from the eyelids so um, let's just move this eye in here so um, yeah you can move the bottom emotion and it's for um, each side you see and then you can also um, move the top emotion so um, no, no no wrong slider so um, here the top emotion And this is for a different emotion kind of thing. If you see, this is for the emotion, and um, this is just to move it up and down. If you see. So, um, and then the same for the other sides. Here, this is for the top emotion, and then the other side is for the bottom emotion. You see? So, um, that was the control panel let's go on to the selectors from the body so the first selector is the all selector so um, with the arrows you can see you can just rotate the fish or you can just move it so yeah you know what it is so um, and then there's also a little selector to move the body so um, it's kind of a bent thing if you see it's kind of nice it's with um, the angle and yeah so um, there's also the middle kind of body controller so um, and then there's also the controller for the tail so if you see 
and then the controller for the top fin so there are also some fins in here so um, just select those and um, if you see there's also a little stretch on those so um, yeah just to um, move the fins I guess and then there's also controller to move the angle of the fin so there are also front controllers for um, the front fins so yeah it's just the same like the other fin and also the angle if you see so um, now for um, the heads there's a head controller if I can select it Oop, wrong one wait a moment so um, yeah it's just to move the head so um, there's no bend on it just if you want to move the heads or something I don't know you can also just use this controller if you want to bend the head you see so um, for the next controller just no bend at all so just to move the mount part so um, yeah so um, for the next controllers, it's just the eyes. So um, this is the top eyes position and then the bottom eye position. And then you can also move them um, each eye part individual. So um, if you see. Yeah, you can just create your own little eye. So like this, I don't know. So um, yeah, I guess that was the free um, swordfish rig. So um, yeah, it's free for everybody. So um, yeah, I have no use at all for this. So um, I hope you enjoy it and I make some cool things with it. So um, if you maybe use it in an animation or something, it will be really nice to give it a um, um, yeah, just linking the description of, or something or just some credits so um, to my rig. I don't know. You don't have to, but um, it will be nice. So um, yeah, this is a free um, sword rig, swordfish rig. So um, yeah, just don't forget to drop a like and um, bye guys. Bye bye.